We've had an official comment from uh, the foreign policy spokesman for the SPD, which is Chancellor Scholz's party. Uh, Neil Schmidt, who's a member of the German uh, Bundestag, the German parliament, has said that the worst has been avoided. Macron is politically weakened, even if he retains a central role in view of the unclear majority situation. Uh, forming a government will be complicated. Uh, he's saying that... Um, the French must now show flexibility and an ability to compromise to form a working coalition, which is something the Germans know uh, a lot about. Um, but uh, Schmidt also added that uh, he thought that these negotiations would be quite long drawn out and, and pretty complicated. We've also had um, reaction from some of the leading German newspapers with uh, Faz Daily saying the crisis isn't over, quite the opposite. Uh, we're headed for a period of instability in France and across Europe with a fragile go government coalition in France. Build, it's the most popular magazine, um, uh, uh, sorry, it's the most popular daily in Germany, um, wonders whether uh, Jean-Luc Mélenchon may become the leader of France. Uh, they say he's contemptuous of Germany, so they're a bit worried about that. And the centre-left centre, centre -left daily uh, Süddeutsche Zeitung says the, uh, the Republican Front stopped Le Pen and RN, but Parliament's going to be very fragmented and Macron has isolated himself on the Mount Olympus of power. So the German reaction, pretty mixed, basically a large dollop of advice there, get your act together and have a coalition work. And some concerns about how that may unfold and what that may mean for Germany and what that may mean for French-German relations.